One, two, three, four. If there's anything that you want, if there's anything that I could do, just call on me and I'll send it along with the from me to you. But now it's Marlinology Multiflex. We're going to show you a little bit of comedy. Just call on me if you need some props, and then I'll send it back to you. Right now, enjoy this clip while it lasts until the end of the season. Here we come. Please watch it right now. Here comes the episode you've been waiting for. And now, here's the episode. Now enjoy it and make a comment and subscribe right now. From me to you. <laughs> to you. <laughs> to you. <laughs> to you. To you. After the Battle of uh, the Carolinas of uh, 2081, 2082 came around and it took place in Georgia. However, Though uh, things uh, might have changed uh, from undramatic to dramatic when things uh, got a little historical, as in like Sherman's march to the sea from the Civil War of the 1864. But this time it was by air, land, and water from Atlanta to Savannah, Georgia, in 2082, when the, the British and the Americans led a march on the fight leaving destruction along the path, along their way. Over Atlanta, the Air Force uh, of British and American are, in, are above Atlanta, causing destruction below in downtown areas, especially Atlanta's uh, major airport at Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport. From the downtown view uh, by helicopter, it appears that uh, there are a lot of bombings uh, in the sky and over downtown Atlanta and destruction below. And uh, despite all the fight, the American army were defeated by the British. The British have uh, taken over Atlanta. But so far, the, battle in, the battles in Georgia weren't done yet the whole year. Were spent uh, from January to December of 2082, starting from Atlanta, destroying everything on its way to Savannah along the coast. After the British and American um, uh, troops uh, retreated from Atlanta, they were they were left to. Uh, leave destruction on their way to uh, Savannah, like I said. It took them about 11 months to reach uh, to Savannah on December of uh, 2082. It was the ending for, for the war. But it was only just one year left. One year left. Here we go. Here we are, December of 2082, just uh, about one year left for the British and the Americans to end the war. But, in the, but the war must end uh, for many citizens, residents, and especially civilians. And though the battle was quite small, actually. Oh! Though the city... Uh, was left explosive at the night. However, it was just only one day. And, and however, the Americans are about to gain their advantage and, and disguise as a camouflage for the urban areas. And the British are about to be eliminated in that battle. At the end, the Americans have finally won their battle in Savannah, Georgia. Will this be the end of the war? Let's find out. As 2082 was done, and 2083 rolled on, and it became the ending for the American Revolution, 2075 to 2083. But it took place in Florida, but it was just only one year, and it took uh, the entire three quarters of the year to just finish uh, every battle in Florida. 
and the first battle in Florida took place in Jacksonville, Florida. The Battle of Jacksonville, it was taking place... Well, despite all the battles, it appears that the British have won the first battle in Florida because they were about to, to uh, counterattack uh, the Americans and they were planning to finish the war by eliminating them. It's still 2083, you know, and uh, we are still in Florida, however. From North Florida or all the way to South Florida, it appears that uh, the Americans and the British are not giving up without a fight. It's still 2083 in the next part, however, and there will be an ending soon. So please tune into the next part in this movie.